Hey guys, Raven Boss here from Collateral Dreams, and I want to talk to you about my problems with Rogue Company. Now, I was going to make a video talking about the things that I liked, things that I disliked, and then going into the things that I hated, but this game has pissed me off so much that I'm going to avoid all of that and just go into the things that have fucking pissed me off. Okay, story time. So the other night, I had a subscriber hit me up on PlayStation, asking if I wanted to play Rogue Company. He explained he wasn't very good at shooters, but that he wanted to try the game out. I happily agreed, booted up my game, expecting to lay back, relax, and play a few rounds. But I was fucking wrong. I was greeted by teammates who either refused to play the game, or were hopped up on cocaine trying to run around the map like it's Call of Duty, thinking if they got enough kills, they could get an attack chopper. The first game I had with the sub. We lost, we got destroyed. It didn't even seem like we had a chance, but everyone looked like they tried their best, so frustrating, it is what it is. But then the second game. Oh, did this second game make me want to throw my PlayStation at a passing semi. <laughs> Round one, we lose. No biggie. We tried, run it again, boys. But no. One of my teammates decides he doesn't want to run it again because apparently his pride has been hurt by losing that single round he decided he was done playing. So he goes AFK. All right, so now it's three on four. Okay, so I think we got this. We can, we can, we can, we can win. Let's get that W. Nah, fuck trying. Because now my other teammate decides he's done too. It's fucking embarrassing. So now fuck me and my sub for wanting to play the game because now it's four on two and as i already mentioned my sub explained he's not that good at shooters so really it's four on one in any other game the smart play would have been just to leave the match i've left more matches in call of duty than i've actually played well good luck with that because the game won't let you leave yeah that's right you can't leave the game there isn't an option. You're forced to either stick it out and consistently have your dead ass get raw dogged by the enemy team after every round. Fucking embarrassing! Or you can try to surrender. Now, if you don't know, surrendering is when you say uncle and the game ends. But I still have yet to have any idea on how this works. Because every time I go to the pause screen to select it, the surrender button is always grayed out and unselectable. Why? What are the rules for this feature? I still don't understand after hours of playing this stupid game. Now, once in a while, the clouds will open up. Odin will bless you. You are blessed. With the sweet relief of saying, fuck it. And the surrender button will be an option. And if that happens, well, it goes to a goddamn vote to the whole team. And they have a chance to veto it. And you sure as hell won't get the option to try again anytime soon. Because I don't even know how I got it the first time. So your team can vote on the surrender. And they can tell you to fuck off. Which makes sense. But what this means is if your team is trolling, not playing the game, or overall being a fucking potato, they can vote down your surrender just to spite you. And then you're stuck in the match, getting that wonderful sensation of seeing your opponent teabagging your lifeless corpse until the end of the game. But wait, there's a third option you say. Just close down the game, boot it back up and search for another one. Oh, try me, bitch. Yeah, you think. But if you go to search for another game, you deadass better believe you're gonna be thrown right back into that last one because you have to wait for the game to end before you can actually search for another game because it will just force you into the last one that you left. Now I know what you're thinking. Raven Boss, that doesn't sound so bad. It doesn't sound like much of an issue. It's designed to keep your team from leaving. And I'd say you're right. It does stop them from leaving early. But you know what is worse than my teammates leaving the game early? 
is them staying in the game and fucking around for about 10 minutes because they know they're stuck in this hellhole so they decided to stay in and not play the game. At least if Rogue Company gave them the opportunity to leave, then maybe Rogue Company could fill the stupid slot with someone else who wants to play. Now I don't think that's such a foreign idea. Again, you're probably thinking, oh, stop being a baby. So you have to play one bad match here and there. So what? Yeah, you think, but this occurs almost every single fucking game. Either your teammates go AFK or it's your enemy that meets this problem. So either every game is incredibly frustrating or incredibly easy. That doesn't sound like good gameplay to me. So that's one of my major problems with Rogue Company. And uh, I haven't even gone into the microtransactions yet. The expensive microtransactions. I get it. Hi res, you're free to play. You're expecting to make your money back through cosmetics that have no effect on the game. But you're fucking telling me that a stupid doc lookalike skin costs $20? $20. I could feed a whole family for $20. Hi Res, how about you focus on developing your game to be fun before you set it up to make money off of Adderall filled miners stealing their fucking mom's credit cards to pay off your mortgage? I mean fucking hell kid. You have a fucking uncommon skin going for $5. Do you know how much I can get off a dollar menu at McDonald's for $5? Nah, fuck you guys and fuck this game. Hi Res, let me know when your game isn't a pile of garbage asking for my paycheck Maybe then I'll come back. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, if you made it this far, you reached the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this shit, I'd love if you could take the time to like and subscribe. How do you guys feel about Rogue Company? Do you think I'm overreacting? Let me know in the comments down below.